Five, a new study shows vaccine protection could last for years. The findings uncovered by researchers at Washington University are now gaining national attention. Our Emma Hogue spent the day talking with doctors about what exactly this means for you. She joins us live from WashU's medical campus in the Central West End tonight. And Sam, these findings are pretty remarkable considering we originally thought Pfizer's immunity would only last about six months. Tonight we're learning in, in most cases it should last several years, but I wanted to know how strong it is against the variant and if a booster shot might still be needed. I think there's been a lot of misinformation about the vaccines out there. Back in the fall, Mary Statter was determined to dispel rumors. Unknowingly, she was one of the first to get the Pfizer vaccine through a clinical trial. As a mom of two children with special needs and compromised immune systems, Statter did whatever she could to expedite the vaccine rollout. Literally just a few weeks ago, I was wondering, since I got the shot so much earlier than everybody else, was I going to be at risk? before boosters became available. As concerns grow over variants, like many Statter wonders how long her immunity will last. Tonight, a cutting edge study unveiled by researchers at Washington University shows Pfizer's protection for most is long lasting. These antibodies will last for years. Uh, and that will be the scale. We are talking about years of uh, antibodies detectable in their blood. Dr. Ali el says the key to a strong immune response is found within germinal centers, which are located in our lymph nodes and train our antibodies how to fight the virus long term. After tracking over 40 people, Dr. el found their germinal centers were still churning out COVID fighting immune cells 15 weeks even after just one dose of Pfizer. They will induce a very durable immunity that could last for years, especially against the strain that they were immunized against, which is the original strain of the virus. But what about variants? And if approved, will those vaccinated with Pfizer need a booster shot? Dr. Elabetti says most likely to protect against variants we don't know about yet. We learned over the last six months that, there are, that the virus is changing. So there could be a potential that we need a booster immunization just to train our immune system now to see the, the new variant. The more people that get vaccinated now before this can continue to mutate, the better off we're all going to be. Researchers at WashU only study the Pfizer vaccine, but because of that mRNA technology, they believe the results will be similar with the Moderna vaccine. As you heard, Pfizer had really promising results just after the first dose. But again, doctors really urging everyone to get at least two doses because that gives you maximum protection. Reporting live in the Central West End tonight, Emma Hogue News 4.